Hello YouTube! If you love classic PS1 games, you have probably played Crash Bandicoot 1. And if you did, you will probably know there are six colored gems to collect, but they can be pretty hard to obtain. So in this video, I will show you how to obtain the six colored gems in Crash Bandicoot 1. First of all, you'll need to know on how to obtain gems, although you probably know this one by now as well. Now, obtaining the colored gems, you do the same way as getting the clear normal gems by completing a level without dying and without missing any crates. The first gem you can get is the green gem, which you can find in the Lost City level on the second island. To get the green gem, you'll need to break 25 crates. The first tricky thing during this level is that you'll need to jump high on the second bouncy crate or the chest underneath the Brio token will not show up. Secondly, you cannot forget to jump on the grey exclamation mark box or the six crates higher up won't appear. Thirdly, the crate underneath the jumping green lizard towards the end is best taken by jumping on the green lizard when it is underneath the crate. And then lastly, do the same with the jumping green lizard underneath the grey exclamation mark box a bit further on. The second gem is the orange gem, which you can find in the generator room level on the third island. To get the orange gem, you will need to break 44 crates. This level is pretty straightforward. No sneaky crates or difficult things. Just take every crate on your way and you'll be fine. The third blue gem is located in the toxic waste level, also on the third island. Go through the level without dying and breaking all 26 crates to get it. Just as with the orange gem, this level isn't very hard. The only horrible thing is at the very end where you will need to be very precise to navigate in between bouncing barrels or you will get flattened in a second. What I found easiest is to wait at the checkpoint, jump to just before halfway up the ramp, before the barrel is there, then walk to just to the top, and when the barrel goes up, you continue. Then lastly, before the guy can throw the next one, jump to just at the end of the final walkway, and wait there until you can proceed. The red gem is on the slippery climb level on the third island, and will likely be one of the hardest gems you'll try to get. The whole level is notoriously difficult and even completing it when losing many lives is allowed is a fierce challenge. To get the red gem you'll need to break 31 crates. Luckily the crates are in easy to reach places and it is not likely you will miss one. The tricky thing in this level is merely getting past all the moving platforms and slippery stairs. The next gem is the yellow gem and is found in the last normal level, the lab. This level requires you to break 21 crates to get the gem. This level is pretty straightforward as well. Just go through the level and time your jumps well with opening doors or moving bridges. Just be careful in the area with the two big groups of crates as in the middle of the second group is a TNT crate. The rest is very easy and you should not get any problems getting the yellow gem. The sixth gem is the purple gem and is in the lights out level also on the third island. You will need to clear the level without dying and getting all 15 crates. For this gem, you will first need to get the previously obtained yellow gem. The trick during this level is to go fast and firstly get the crates without the mask to save some time. Everything is again pretty straightforward. No difficult to get crates here either. Just take the route on the yellow gem to get the last three hidden boxes. And there you have it, all six colored gems. I hope you all enjoyed it and if you did, please leave a like, comment and don't forget to subscribe. And I will hope to see you all again in the next video. Bye!